Mr. Matt Wade. Oh, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and this video is very special because it's one video in my five-part series, my free TikTok music secrets training. You can find the entire thing in the description below, also on TikTokMusicPromo.com, and it's where we're going in-depth and how artists can leverage TikTok for themselves. Everything that you need to know and understand. For this particular video right here though, we're getting into the inner workings of TikTok and how you can leverage it for yourself. Check it out. That's just one thing to keep in mind for those people who are newer to TikTok. But now, for a lot of people, especially those people who are confused, let me go deep into the algorithm. The way this algorithm works is one, a lot of people say, oh, I want to get on the For You page. I got to get on the For You page. I want to blow up. I'm trying to get on the For You page. So you'll see a lot of people saying hashtag FYP, hashtag For You page, all those things. But the truth is everybody gets on the For You page. Unlike Instagram's Explore page where you kind of have to take off before you get onto it, technically everybody gets on the For You page. You don't even have to do those hashtags. I'm not saying they won't help with some things just being batched into that, but you don't necessarily have to do them. Here's why. This is how Instagram's, I mean, TikTok's content works. If I drop something, I release something, it's going to be put on a small subset of users' pages. And it's going to be put on their For You pages. Everybody basically consumes new users through their For You page, right? And everybody is getting tested in batch number one. This batch is going to be on somebody's for you page, a small set of people, and it'll be like that for two hours. In this two hour period, what people are testing for, and when I say people, I mean TikTok, they're stress testing for engagement, right? Kind of how Instagram switched to the fact that their first 10% of your audience they'll show it to, and if it's engaging well, they'll show it to the rest of your, your audience. Well, TikTok is pretty much doing that with everybody. It's not just about whether it's your audience or not. They're just stress testing it to whether it's going to go to batch two. So it'll do some engagement testing, and then in batch two is actually a bigger batch. So you get shown to a small set of people for two hours, and then you get shown to a bigger batch, right? And when you get shown to that bigger batch, let's just call it the medium batch for now, now it starts to stress test again and continue to look for engagement, just continue to see what it performs like. And after that, on that particular level, it's not just the typical engagement like it was on the first one where it's about, you know, um, views or somebody sh is somebody sharing it. They like are they liking it? Comments. Those are those basic things. But in batch two, to make it to the next level, batch three, watch time becomes more important, right? Completion rate, which is pretty much similar to watch time when you think about it, right? How, how often do people actually complete the song or well, the video? What percentage of it do they complete? And replays become increasingly more important. Why? Because if people are watching it a lot and replaying it a lot, they must really like it or it's engaging in some way. And of course, that keeps people on our platform longer as well. So, those become increasingly important. That's why it's important not to have those super long videos because people need to complete it and you want them to watch it back for it to really blow up. Now, before it gets to batch number three, and batch number three is starting to get into that upper echelon, right? Three to four percent. Well, no, 10 to five percent, the upper 10 to five percent. Before it gets there, it's then going to say, okay, let me see if there's any hate speech going on with this post, is there anything that goes against our policy that's not, that's too rated R, rated X, you know, the, like weed. A lot of people have posted things like weed and have had their stuff shadow banned, right? Uh, a lot of things like that. It starts to kind of analyze and see if we want to show this to an even bigger audience. So that's another thing to keep in mind just for your particular content as well, because I do know multiple people who have had problems after posting certain things, drugs, guns, all that stuff, right? So batch number one, bam, two hours. Batch then, bat, um, then you stress test to get to batch number two. A lot of people get to batch number two, but after that, it becomes even more tight. And they say, hey, once again, how many replays? How much completion? And then you go through that hurdle to get over batch number three. And then we get to the large batch, the large batch. Now, what happens here? is it stays here for four days. And this is a pretty awesome point, right? Because you're being shown to a massive amount of people. It's basically saying small, medium, large in terms of the batch of For You pages that you've been put on. Remember, everybody's getting put on a For You page technically. If you actually go on TikTok, you'll notice that you'll see some posts that are like, 
somebody who has 500,000 followers, 200,000 followers, and then somebody with almost two followers, right? Five followers, 20 followers. That's this is the reason what well, I'll explain in the back end, but this is the reason that people are able to blow up with pretty much no audience. Your very first post could blow up on TikTok and go viral. This is the reason why. So again, on the third level, the large level, it's still doing this exact same thing, stress testing, getting the feel for the situation, seeing what's going to happen. And after it determines if you're like the upper, upper echelon, now we're talking about that 1%, right? Now it gets started, it gets shown to a real person who works for TikTok. A real person, right? This is what I'm, um, a lot of my sources have told me on, this is the, part, the hardest part to believe on that one, right? But it's, it's, it's shown to be um, pretty true. So far, it gets shown to a real person and they say, hmm, do I want to expire this post? Meaning, goes down, or do I wanna press that button, right? Just like the red button in the White House or something, bam, and then it goes super viral. That's the choice and that's the flow. So when we think about the fact that everybody's getting on the For You page, this is one of the most encouraging parts about TikTok. A lot of times we say stuff like, yo, get there fast because you never know how much the opportunity will last. Yes, I still say move to TikTok as fast as possible. Truly do. But the way their algorithm is set up, it does skew a lot more towards quality content and engagement than a lot of other algorithms and how those are set up, right? Instagram is more about around your friends group. When you get on that platform, Twitter, all of them, they get built around your friends, Facebook. But when you look at TikTok, they don't ask you who your friends are when you get on the app. They just start showing you things and they start to learn through the artificial intelligence. And you go through this bucket where everybody is getting pushed in, in some sense of a fair shot in the same bucket and then only being judged by the merit of the engagement that's happening with that post. So that's the path, right? Bucket number one, small batch as soon as you post. Because you, you'll see, if you all notice, or just look, if you're on TikTok long enough, there are people who have no hashtags, no description, and they have multiple posts that have done very well. Why? Well, it just got pushed out into that small batch and engaged enough to make it to batch number two engaged enough there and cleared certain conditions to make it to batch number three. And then from batch number three, you know, maybe it went higher up or maybe not, but even getting 200,000 views or 200,000 likes, like a lot of people have as well, right, are, are, is still solid engagement. So that's video one, just on the core explainer of the flow of how TikTok algorithms work. Why that's so important is if you start to notice how things move, you'll notice that posts will move and they'll grow, right? And then they'll pause and then they'll move and they grow and then they'll pause. And that's because TikTok has these delayed moments while it's in one bucket moving to the next, right? It's plateauing because it's done all it's done in this one um, bucket. Now it's being analyzed to determine if it's going to be in the next bucket or not. So that's how algorithms work on TikTok. At the core, there's a lot more nuance and we're about to get into that in the next video in this series. Stay tuned. It's the network. All right, I hope that clip was helpful. Again, this is just one of five videos in my TikTok Music Secrets training, completely free. Check that out at the link below or you can go directly to tiktokmusicsecrets.com. Once again, TikTok is extremely impactful. We know it's something that you should be learning right now, trying to figure out so you can leverage for yourself. The results are unbelievable. Make sure you hop on that wave before it leaves you behind. Once again, as always, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.